Welcome back to Defense Like a Jedi. Hey team, I got just a couple reminders today. Uh, first one is going to be, we got the Lucky Jackpot going on. Um, this isn't the reminder, but I did see on my farms that they are still holding the memory of these jackpot coins. And somebody put in the comments that it will last for a month. And then I think they automatically disappear. Um, so I think the way I'm going to play it is, uh, again, this isn't one of the three reminders. The way I'm going to play it is I'm going to, collect until I get enough to get one of these chests um, and then I'm going to try to not touch my my uh, lucky jackpot or my announcements even though sometimes it dumps you in there if you do enough bubbling and unbubbling I feel like you might push them down to where they're not actually in the queue you'd have to search for them later I don't know if that makes sense or not but that's the way I'm going to play it in my farms I'm not going to go in there at all this week um, but the reminder uh, one of the three reminders I wanted to give you is make sure, like you see there's no red dots on the lucky, I'll put it up at the top, lucky jackpot. There's nothing to tell me to go in there. You need to, after you pop your thieves, go into the proof of fortune and collect these every day. Um, you're getting a lot of coins. Now, if you're an addict and you want to get this top one where you buy a purchase pack, you know, there are 99 cents packs uh, one of them has a decent amount of uh, uh, blood of heirs. Um, you know, like if you buy 99 cents, if you use like a double down coupon, I think for 99 cents you can get like, I don't know, 10 or 15 blood of heirs or something like that, which usually like the best packs are 50 cents for a blood of heirs. So uh, I'm 50 cents. So if you can get 10 for a buck, that's not too bad. Uh, that's your first reminder. Second reminder is we got the consumption event over here. So make sure you uh, go into your subsidy if, if you so choose and get the common and the construction speed ups. Um, it, it, all I did is I took mine, I think, from level 31 to 33 this time, and I'm probably going to be done. And I'll just wait to do the rest. I hear a lot of you are like, this is genius. I'm going to take it to 40 or 45 to give me more tiers that I wouldn't have in my march. And I'm thinking, man, that's going to be a lot of speed-ups. I mean, I know, I, I, it, I don't know if that's feasible. If you have that many speed-ups sitting around, then you never heal during Battlefield like I do. So uh, I'm happy to get to 32 and 33 just to get that the T14s up there. Um, yeah. So make sure you do that. And then the third reminder is now in the Senate, we have these new positions. If you go over to the honorary, uh, you know, the, the final ones, they finally put in these positions. You can see I did one and then I stopped. But if I'm going to activate this, you only need 20 of these these hero or historic medals. But they're basically tokens from dis disassembling heroes. Um, that's great. Uh Unfortunately, it takes more blood of heirs. So in order to get this thing up to level three, it costs you 60 blood of heirs. Now, Genghis did a video about this today, and he's like, do this right away before, or I'm going to do this right away before they change it and make it more expensive. That's your gamble. I'm going to save this for Trial of Knights um, because that is blood of heirs consumption. If you use 60 of them per level, I'm just I'm not going to do that till Trial of Knights. That's up to you if you know, when and where you want to do it. Some of them are, a lot of them are in rally boost. That does nothing for me. So I don't need this one for ground. We never do ground rallies. Uh, in rally ground, yeah, see, there's another one. So in rally, mounted troop defense, I guess that counts for monsters if you want mounted defense on monsters. We will do some mounted rallies in Battlefield, but mostly they're range rallies, you know. So maybe this second one would be good. Um, oh, wait, that's not even a position. I'm on the wrong page here. So now some of these are all in a rally. And defending Siege Machine HP, I'll do that one for sure. But I think that might be a... Nope, that is a new one. So those are your three reminders. Um, I'm sure there's other events. Uh, chime down below what, what else we need to remember to do for the fishing events and whatever else. But uh, on that note, I'm going to let you go. Oh, you thought you got rid of me. Uh, I'm done talking, Ebony. If you're offended by my... Uh, my facts about the earth not necessarily being as old as the scientists tell you it is and, and my procreation stance, you can tune out now rather than get offended. Um, 
This fact here is the moon is slowly moving away from the earth by 3.8 centimeters a year, which is one and a half inches. Um, they, if you Google it, they'll go ahead and kind of numb it down and say it's not that important. Uh, it does say that as the earth moves, the moon moves away from the earth, the earth's rotation slows down. I didn't know that until I looked this up today. Uh, that, that means that um, it takes, I mean, it's probably such a fraction, but the, the point of this is if, if the earth was really billions and billions of years old, the moon moving further and further away from the earth, I mean, let's go back a billion years. You really think the moon was, uh, uh, you know, that much closer to the earth or have we really not been here for billions and billions of years and we were created in this fashion? It's just another fact that they can't prove and they can't, they, they just can't prove how old the earth is unless they're just not looking at all the evidence. Uh, oh, now on that note, I'll let you go. I'll try to do another fun fact next time.